What's up Blair Gang, I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the, the lamello ball fade. It's going to be a number 4 on top with the grain and a mid ball fade keeping the hooks. So now we're going to go ahead and take the top down number 4 with the grain. After taking down the top, I'm just going to go ahead and set my first guideline, no guard, closed. And since we're keeping the hooks for this cut, we're just going to make sure to keep that front hook area, box area, darker than everything else. When I'm making my first guideline, I like to make my guide on one side, and then move to the other side, and then connect in the back. Um, this has, over the years, given me the most symmetrical line. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up our lever. This adds a 0.5 length to our blade. And I'm going to go ahead and make my second guideline about half an inch parallel to my first. Just a little tip, um, whenever you're making guidelines, you want to make them as soft as possible. And to do that, you just want to flick out at the end of your stroke and that'll make it easier to blend and transition into the next length. I'm going to go ahead and take out that guideline we've made with the open lever using my lever play, no guard. Uh, what that means is I'm going to play with the lever and do whatever it takes, open, middle, close, to take out that line without crossing the second guideline. So now I'm going to use my one and a half guard open and I'm going to set the base to my fade. Uh, this is going to be the longest length that we're going to be blending into. Um, after that, I'm going to take it through the motions. So I'm going to go from open to middle to close. I collectively call those three steps as the motions. And that's going to help me uh, blend as much as I can with this guard. Now that we're done with the one and a half guard, I'm gonna go ahead and start fading down with my one guard open. So we're gonna start from open and same thing, we're gonna take it through the motions, middle, close, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to start fading that line out and just making it faint so that we can take it out with the half guard. So now I have my half guard on and we're just gonna finish up taking out that last little faint line in there. Um, I start with the clipper open and same thing, I'm gonna take it through the motions. So main tip when you're blending out lines is that you wanna use a lot of corner work. So as you can see, I'm just using the, the ends of my clipper. And what that does is it does a lot of detailing work and it allows you to blend without taking out too much hair. As you can see, that fade is looking real blurry as we took out that last line. Now to add the last couple dimensions to our fade, we're going to use our balding clipper and then finally our foil shaver and that will finish off our blend. With my foil shaver, I'm just going to make sure I flick out a lot and that will help me to not leave any hard lines.
me on to the other side. We're just gonna go ahead and do the same steps, starting with our one and a half guard open, taking it through the motions and setting the base to our fade. prominent line. Continuing to fade down, I'm going to go ahead and slap my half guard on and take that to the motions to continue to fade that line out. Um, if you've noticed, I'm doing things a little bit different on this side just to show you that as long as you follow a system it doesn't matter which order you take lines out in to achieve the same fade so basically I haven't taken out that first guideline on the side yet that we created with our open lever and I'm gonna do so right now using my lever play after I faded it down to that faint line so I can just knock it out with my no guard lever play Using my balding clipper, I'm just going to go ahead and bald him out and prepare uh, his hair to be taken down to skin with a full shaver. Finally, with the foil shaver, I'm just going to go ahead and polish up that blend and add that last dimension to my fade, which is skin. Um, a lot of people neglect this step, but it, this step is really what makes your fade pop and adds that stretch factor and effect to, to it. my client's hairline today I'm gonna use my one and a half guard closed I'm gonna take that with the grain to taper down his hairline and then I'm gonna go ahead and use some holding spray just to hold that hair in place while lining it up Using my hitters, I'm going to go ahead and start to line them up. A uh, couple tips here, you just want to make sure that your eye level uh, with his hairline, making sure that you're looking at it from the correct perspective, as he would. And secondly, you just want to make sure that you do not push him back and you want to keep everything as sharp and natural as possible. My liners are pretty zero gapped, um, not to the point where they're too sharp, but just enough so that I can just clean up everything with the blade after and make it all pop. Blade, I'm just gonna go ahead and detail my work, define those lines, make them sharp, and just make everything pop. When using the straight blade, uh, you always want to make sure you hold the blade at the correct angle. Um, I usually hold it at like a 30 degree angle, and you just want to make sure that that you 
really stretch that skin in the opposite direction that you're pulling the blade in and make it real tight. Um, the tighter the skin is, the less likely you are to nick or cut the client. cherry on top I'm gonna go ahead and use some topics to enhance his lineup around his box area what this is gonna do it's gonna give me a much uh, fuller look and a happier client <laughs> after the topics is in I'm just gonna go back in with some hitters and clean it up touch it up and finally using some olive oil spray I'm gonna go ahead and add some shine to my clients hair this spray is really good for curly, wavy hair because yeah, curly, wavy hair tends to get really dry and frizzy and this gets rid of that frizz and gives the hair the moisture that it needs. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my comb and input those waves by using a side to side motion. That will conclude our tutorial for today, the Lamello Ball Fade. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys could uh, take something from it and add to your game, make you a better barber in some way. Thank you again for watching and thank you for your time and support. Blurry out.